you had to work in two extremely opposite environments because you were working in Louisiana yeah. and then also working in New Mexico. Yeah. So, right? Shipra. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. I thought it was New Mexico. <laughs> but anyhow, well, which one did you prefer and uh, why? Oh, God. Um, <laughs> The studio was amazing. We had this. The, the, the cave, aside from the mirrors, was entirely real. It wasn't CGI at all. But Shit Rock was just. I've never seen anything it's like that place. Um, there, are, there are a lot. Of, it's, it's Navajo Indian land. Yeah, they, ro- they worship it. It's a holy place. And they were there. They were keeping an eye on us. Yeah. But you understand why they worship yeah. the place because it, it feels like a religious experience when you're staring up at this rock, which just shoots. Oh, I'm so sorry. Which just shoots out of the ground. Um, it's extraordinary. Did you find it almost like a spiritual experience? Because, you know, a lot of those lands seem the I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to say spiritual experience, but I found it very peaceful and very calming. And, you know, uh, just I'm, I'm from England. I'm used to cows and, and green fields and to be in a place like that. The rain. Stunning. And the rain. <laughs> <laughs> what was your favorite scene to shoot? It just was fun. What did you like the best? It just was fun. Or for you. There was, yeah, I've got a, my favorite scene isn't fun, but um, most fun scene, as stupid as it sounds, it's a brief scene where me and Jake are, I don't know what am I talking about, the dancing scene. That was a lot of fun. Um, you know, dancing, being silly, we had to throw that dance together really quickly. Fake rain, bit of kissing. So, you know, <laughs> it's, it's fun, it's silly. Well, what's the one you love then? You were saying there's your favorite one. Well, this I always have to explain, for, for you, obviously. Um, it's when Wanda returns to the cave and Jared hits it. Now the reason yeah. the reason I like it is because usually when you approach a scene you understand the emotional trajectory that you're probably gonna have to take. That scene I just didn't know. Um and I didn't know if I wanted it in the film, I didn't know if it should have been in the book. Uh and I I just didn't know how Andrew was gonna do it, how Sasha was gonna do it. But it suddenly made everything, we did it quite early on, it suddenly made Jared and Melanie's struggle make sense to me because it seemed a kind of microcosmic uh, version of their struggle, you know, um, because Jared wasn't entirely liked by the people who read the book because he was sort of violent and and aggressive, but then you think about the problem he faced. That's horrible. It's horrible to lose the girl you love, and that's bad enough in a world where you've lost everyone already. But then for her to come back, you know, the specter of her former self, she looks identical, it's a daily reminder except she's not who she once was. Um, she's been invaded forcefully by someone who is at that very moment occupying her. So in that moment, just the whole rush of emotions, basically, anger, sadness, pity, uh, fear, the unknown, uh, you know, this was entirely new to us, and it made the whole thing make sense very quickly. And Sasha did it so well, and there was everyone there. We had Jamie's response, William's response, it just... You knew her, but had you worked with, with Sasha before? Me and Sasha got a part in a film together uh, when we were about 14, but the film fell through. Okay, so you hadn't worked with... What about her surprised you? Because you probably heard all kinds of things about, oh, she's a great actress, huh? you're going to love her. What, what about her surprised you? It's like, wow. Her emotional intelligence. Ah. Yeah, and her overall intelligence. Um, mm-hmm. But mainly her emotional intelligence. Well, the audition in London after forgetting all the lines. <laughs> um, it's just all there, and it's so subtle and so confident. And uh, you know, for someone who trained in theatre, theatre, I know what I'm doing. Film is still sort of I'm still getting to grips with it. We didn't get trained in film, um, so I have to learn by people like William Hurt and so forth. Uh, but just being in a room with her and just sort of having truth thrown at you and honesty thrown at you uh, is disarming and relaxing, and it makes it easy. She's real. She's so real. Mm-hmm. Um, do you think about the I'm sorry? Do, do you think about the, the future of this uh, franchise? I mean, do you ever think about your character, what he would do next, or something about that? Or? I have ideas mm-hmm. uh, for where Jared. I think Jared would and maybe should go, but it's not Stephanie. She's mm-hmm. she's writing at the moment. She's like a steel trap in terms of giving information away. Uh, <laughs> But I have my, I have my <laughs> suspicions. Is she on the set a lot? Because, I mean, we were watching the EPK upstairs, and, um, you know, there's shots of her on set. But did she spend a lot of time around you guys, or did she, she, she hands off? She's pretty much always there, or always available in one way or another, but very hands-off. I remember I went up to her pretty much on day one and said, listen, Stephanie, 
I know you kind of you wrote the guy, so you know it better than anyone else. Can you tell me if I'm getting it right or wrong? Mm -hmm. uh, you know, give me some tips. And she said, "Listen, we cast you for a reason. We trust your instincts. We, we, we trust you to bring yourself to Jared, bring, bring Jared to yourself. Mm -hmm. um, so go and have fun." And that's sort of really nice. It took all the pressure, the pressure from the readers, the pressure from the, from the book, and the pressure from her, and it sort of washed it away. Did she say anything to you after? She said it sucked. <laughs> <laughs> no, she did. She's, she's never said anything. She mm. just said nice things, which mm. is lovely. That's good. Yeah. What, what, what do you think is the biggest misconception about Hollywood from Europe or England in particular? Okay. From, from Hollywood and England. Can I can I open up to the biggest misconception about young actors in Hollywood? <laughs> <laughs> yes. I got asked... And I think this is an important thing. I got asked um, by the American Foreign Press, Hollywood Foreign Press. Uh -oh. uh, and it was the first question off the bat. And he said, you've been doing well, you've been working a lot recently, but it's been a gradual ascent for you. Do you know why that is? <laughs> Which I kind of went, huh, okay. But then I thought, actually, no, that's, that's an interesting question. Because what you're referring to, what you're referencing in, in regard to my gradual ascension, is twilight. Okay. Mm -hmm. You're thinking success... These days, for young actors, is the Hunger Games, all my life. It's mm -hmm. this overnight superstar, with, um, huge pay, huge fame. Mm -hmm. um, now, that's all well and good if you can maintain it, and we all know of obvious examples of people who've maintained it and are going on to work with, with people, with great people. Um, but there's obviously the possibility of slipping back down. Mm -hmm. So it is a version of success, but then if I look at the actors um, who I really respect, who've been working for 40, 50 years and who were really amazing, you know. That never happened to them. They had a gradual ascent. They worked with good scripts, with good directors, with good actors, um, not necessarily playing leading roles at the beginning of their career. But they laid a foundation which you, they built success on, um, sustained success. Now that, to me, is success. What's next? I just what can see next. White Queen. White Queen's okay. coming out in August. Okay, um, all right. Which I was just in Belgium yeah. for six months, and there's something coming out, uh, something I'm beginning working on an English thing, but I can't officially talk about. It, so, but if you do a bit of googling, you'll find out. Thank you. 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 Th